holiday shopping with a beer in one hand and a dog on the leash in the other. The Minneapolis Brewery and Tap Room has you covered this weekend. Inbound Brewing has a number of local vendors set up for Sunday afternoon. Inbound is in the North Loop. That's where Kylie is this morning. Good morning, Kylie. Good morning, Jason. This is really fun. There's a lot of different holiday markets that you can find this time of year, and this one has a little bit of a dog theme. So we're so excited this morning to be at Inbound. Inbound, we've got John and Caitlin with us. John, you guys have been open about a year and a half. How's business been going? Uh, business has been great. We're a dog-friendly tap room. We're about uh, two blocks from Target Field, so we've been having a fun year having dogs in and their and their owners as well. Um, and yeah. having the holiday market is just going to kind of amp that up a little bit. Absolutely. This weekend we have on Sunday the 17th, we have 11 vendors, some dog friendly, some human friendly. Uh, we're featuring two new beers this weekend. We have a Russian Imperial Stout, um, nice rich heavy beer, and a bourbon barrel aged uh, wild rice porter that we're going to be showing off. Yeah. Um, as well as a bunch of cool vendors that are all... Um, have a charitable purpose in mind. Which is really cool for this time of year. I think people are looking for that. And Caitlin, a lot of these too, they have the pups in mind, which is perfect for such a dog friendly tap room. Yeah, it's really awesome for us. So we'll have Cuddle Mutt as one of our vendors and they donate blankets to shelters. So for every blanket you purchase, another blanket goes to a shelter. The dogs approve, they love that one. Oh yeah. <laughs> Odeon Board makes custom ornaments. So $5 from every ornament goes to a rescue and on Sunday they'll all go to Four Pit Sake Rescue, the featured rescue. So Four Pit Sake focuses on bully breeds, all from Minnesota, which is pretty rare for a rescue to only bring dogs in from the state that they work in. Yeah, that's incredible. I really like that. And then of course Dogs of MSP play a big role in what you guys have been doing. We're so excited to have Dogs of MSP here. They have an amazing community of dogs and humans. Yeah. <laughs> and they've done so much for getting dogs into tap rooms and really bringing the beer community together around things more than just beer. Yeah, and John, I think that people, like, people who love beer, they also love dogs, so it seems to go hand in hand, doesn't it? Perfect combination. It really is. Are you excited for Sunday? Absolutely, this is gonna be a fun event. We'll have uh, a ton of dogs in here. It'll be loud, <laughs> it'll be fun. It'll be a good time. And I, and I must say, the hat is just glorious this morning. It's perfect. Thank you. Need a little uh, warmth when it gets cold out. Yeah. Goes good with Russian Imperial Stout. <laughs> it does, and of course we showed you those two cute dogs. I'm gonna sneak right through here. This morning we've got Maple and Butterscotch and their human Jillian. Hi Jillian, good morning. Hi, good morning. Your dogs are so sweet. We love the Christmas jammies, they look great. Thank you, these pajamas are from Target and <laughs> a lot of us in our group have these pajamas along with the human pajamas that match <laughs> and we've invited everyone to wear these on Sunday and we're gonna take a big group photo. So. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. Okay, so tell me about Dogs of MSP for those who don't know about it. So it's a community organization. It really just started as a Facebook group. It was supposed to be something fun and it just kind of blossomed into a platform and it brings all you know dog people together and we host monthly meetups. It's usually at a dog friendly brewery each time and it's really great that places like Inbound allow dogs inside because that helps us out in the winter months. And your last group to get, get together, how many humans and dogs were there? I think we had close to 1,500 people wow. which was really amazing because we started a year ago and the first meetup had 10 people. So so it's awesome. been really cool to see it grow. So can people learn a little bit more about that on Sunday too? Yes, they can. And then also if they are interested, they can join our Facebook group and people are always posting silly pictures <laughs> of their dogs or asking for recommendations. It's a great place um, to find places that are dog friendly as well. So I love it. Jillian, thanks for getting up early and bringing maple and butterscotch. Come on guys, look at these pajamas. They look good. Oh, and this one. So this is maple and she is just a love bug. We've been cuddling all morning long. How could you not? The You're in heaven are soft here, too. Kylie. Tap room and <laughs> dogs in pajamas. Dogs. It's all, I it's mean, all happening. It's, it's a pretty good morning, that's for sure. Good stuff. Yeah. They have nice beer there, too. <laughs> Thanks, Kylie. A dozen vendors are going to be at Inbound Brewing this weekend for an event that you can... Well, you can bring your dog to. How cool is that? It will be a great chance to finish off that holiday shopping for the year. Kylie Burst joins us now live from Inbound in Minneapolis with more on the holiday market. I love this idea, Kylie. Yeah, it's really fun because let's face it, most of you are going to be going to a brewery sometime over the next couple of weeks anyway. Why not combine it with some holiday shopping? We've got Caitlin with us from Inbound. And what I think is especially cool about this holiday market is everything you guys have here has a charitable, co charitable component with it. Yeah, we're really excited. We have vendors coming in from all different areas. So we have vendors for humans and vendors for dogs. <laughs> I love it. And this, one, I, this is so fun. I actually didn't know about Cuddle Mitt. Yeah, so Cuddle Mutt actually, for every blanket that you purchase, they donate a blanket to a shelter, which is really awesome. Yeah. And we have a featured rescue for the day, so that's for Pit Sake Rescue. They 
focus on bully breeds all from Minnesota. So um, Odeon Board makes these awesome ornaments and $5 from every ornament is always donated to a rescue, but on Sunday it's all gonna go to For Pit's Sake. We'll have an adoptable dog kissing booth and <laughs> for a $5 donation, you can get your dog some photos with Santa. I love that, and of course, all going back to for Pit's sake, for Pit's sake rescue. Am I saying that right? Yes, yes, <laughs> it's super cute. And John, there's also going to be a big beer release coming up this weekend too. Yeah, Hi. We're, we're releasing two beers this weekend. Uh -huh. um, we have a Russian Imperial Stout, which is kind of a high alcohol, kind of roasty, chocolatey, rich beer, and a bourbon barrel aged wild rice porter. So getting some of the local Minnesota feel to it. It's two great winter beers for us, which is kind of fun. It is really fun. And your location is just amazing. You guys are what, two blocks from Target Field? Yeah, two blocks from tar Target Field. We've got a big open space, very dog friendly. We've been uh, we've been open for a year and a half now, having lots of fun working with all the dog vendors. And yeah. uh, dog it? vendors and beer drinkers are like the same group. Well, and I was gonna ask, what is it about beer drinkers and dog? They just go together. I don't know why, but it works really well. They're. Uh, <laughs> People. All good people, I think, is what it comes down to. Good people love dogs and beer. <laughs> awesome. And, of course, you know, speaking of dogs, we do have a couple here with us this morning, guys. I have to introduce you to Maple. Oh, and Butterscotch. Well, she's tapped out. That's okay. <laughs> They've got their little pajamas on this morning. They are the biggest sweethearts. And dogs of MSP, uh, they just had a big meeting here. And we've got Emily with us from Dogs of MSP. Good morning. Morning. Well, first tell me what exactly Dogs of MSP is. So Dogs of MSP is a community for dog lovers. We do monthly events and then we also sell stuff for dogs and humans. So it's just kind of a way to bring dog lovers together. And we have an awesome dog community and we have these great dog friendly places to go to. And so on Sunday, you guys are putting out a call to everyone to come out to the holiday market. And I know that there's uh, also the call because everyone seems to have these dog pajamas. Yes, <laughs> if you and your dog have pajamas, feel free to wear them. Target has some great dog pajamas and matching human ones too. <laughs> what is it about this community? I mean, it's so dog friendly and you guys, I mean, you're not very old. You kind of have exploded in size so quickly. <laughs> yeah, our first meetup, we all fit at one table pretty snug and it's gotten big and we're just really appreciative of everyone that's a part of it. Yeah, well, thanks for getting up early with us this morning. Again, maple and butterscotch. Don't you guys love the pajamas? Apparently, this is a thing. These pajamas, a lot of dog owners have them. There are matching human ones, too. Maple, just so sweet this morning. They love their pajamas. Well, you know, some of us have a hard time adjusting in the morning, uh, and it yep. takes us a while to get out of our PJs, so we're not judging you know. at all. No, and dogs, you know, they're just like us. Oh, Maple, hi. She's so the biggest sweet. lover. Oh, Butterscotch wants love, too. Very hi, sweetie. <laughs> Kylie, thank you. Kylie's never coming back to the TV station, I think. Nope. Beer and cute dogs.